My name is Caitlin Bannon and I'm a fourth year graduate student working for David Mobley. We're a computational chemistry group here at UCI. So something that our group focuses on is using computers to help with drug design. So for example, behind me we have this drug molecule that's kind of floating around in a protein. So we use those simulations to try to make better drug molecules and save time and resources in the wet lab. So I decided to come to UCI mostly because they have a really good computational chemistry program. So I'm actually in the chemistry department, but you can work with those groups if you're in the farm side department as well. And there's just so many professors to choose from and so much cool research that's happening here. So I really hope to keep doing things similar to what I'm doing now. So that's kind of software development for computational chemistry. Um, there are a lot of companies out there that make software so it's easier for people to do this kind of modeling and then sell it to people in pharmaceutical companies or other groups. Um, so those are the types of jobs I'm looking at. As far as advice for other graduate students, I think that developing those soft skills is something that people don't always focus on. So you're going to learn all the technical skills because you have to. You can't get a PhD without learning about the physics, the chemistry, the biology, whatever it is you need for your major. But learning how to communicate your science to different people and different audiences, learning how to be a good leader and a good manager, those are all things that are going to be important in your career no matter what. Another thing I'd recommend for any graduate student is take advantage of the resources at UCI. There are a ton, sometimes an overwhelming number, um, but there's a lot of professional development resources available at the Graduate Student Research Center, resource, Graduate Student Resource Center. <laughs> um, uh, I'm also president of our local chapter of Iota Sigma Pi, which is a professional society for women in chemistry. And that's been a great opportunity to hone leadership skills and get to know other women in the department and meet women who are already professionals with their PhDs. So I really appreciate all the resources that UCI has made available. That's a big part of why I came down here is that the computational chemistry is great, the training in soft skills and leadership skills is great. Um, so take advantage of all of those things that are available at your university regardless of where you end up.